Kim, what is our second main topic today? Okay, guys, this comes from Brian Sams. Hey, John, saw Matrix Resurrections and I kind of hated it. <laughs> Not like the worst thing ever, and I don't think it was as bad as Matrix 3, but still pretty bad. Just saw that Hugo Weaving was originally going to come back to play Agent Smith. All I can say is that I probably would have enjoyed the movie like 50% more if Weaving was there. He was a big missing piece. Do you think his return would have made much of a difference? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in, man. And yeah, this is interesting. I find this interesting. Like for those of you who may have uh, missed out on this. So there was an interview being done and they were talking about the, both the writers of Matrix 4. And it is a very curious thing that Hugo Weaving was not in this movie. And without going into a lot of spoilers, not that it matters for, for Matrix 4, but it makes sense narratively why Lawrence Fishburne wasn't there, right? There's, there's, there's a narrative function in the story that makes it make sense why Lawrence Fishburne, the actor, isn't there. But there's not one for why Hugo Weaving isn't there. Mm. Um, and because Agent Smith is a digital entity, so, I mean, he probably could have been there. But they didn't go that way, and that's fine. That's fine. But now we're finding out that the original plan was for Hugo Weaving to be in this movie as Agent Smith. This comes to us from the folks over at comicbook.com who write, a new Morpheus was there from the beginning, co-writer Alexander uh, uh, Hemmen revealed to io9. During my brief career in the movies, I've learned that movie making, it's a world of contingency plans. And so people might not, might or might not, you know, sign on, or if they sign on, some things may change. So we did write some roles. I'm not going to give it away, but we wrote a character for someone that we thought would play it, and then it was not possible. And so still, we didn't change anything radically, but we were just imagining this actor in the role, and then, turn, then it turned out that it was not possible. But we didn't change any lines with that. So that actor is still incredible in the role. When asked to clarify which role, Hammond revealed that Hugo Weaving was originally set to return as Agent Smith. Okay, here's why this is kind of significant to me. If you watch just the first Matrix movie, the movie's about Neo. And of course, is Mary, he's Robin Hood, and then he had his band of merry men, including, you know, Trinity and Morpheus and Cypher and whatever. But as you go through the trilogy and you get to the end of the third film, it kind of evolves and Matrix kind of becomes about Neo and Smith because that that's yeah. a constant throughout the films totally. is Neo and Smith. If the actor who played Agent Smith in Matrix 4 had been a different actor, would that have changed anything about the movie? No, it's still the same lines. It's still the same lame the matrix was a video game series and now warner brothers is forcing us to make it up yeah it still had all that same lameness and whatever would it have fundamentally and radically changed the movie no would it have it slightly changed our experience with the movie maybe a little bit like of course i didn't like matrix 4 okay no but yeah super kill supreme <laughs> but Seeing Carrie Ann Moss as Trinity, that felt kind of good. Yeah. Seeing Keanu Reeves back as Neo, Mr. Anderson, that felt pretty good. It, it didn't stop the movie from being a bad movie, but seeing them in those roles, that felt pretty good. And if Hugo Weaving had pop back in there as Agent Smith, that would have added to the, that felt pretty damn good. Would it have changed the movie from a bad movie to a good movie? from my own subjective opinion. No. Would I have enjoyed my experience a little bit more seeing him considering this franchise through the through the first Trinity, uh, no pun intended, through the original tri tri uh, trilogy that it was Neo and Smith, it mm -hmm. would have felt pretty cool to see Hugo Weaving and Keanu Reeves facing off again. Again, I don't want to overplay that. It still would not have been a very good movie, in my opinion. But it, it would have given a little extra few smiles from me in it. I know, Kimberly, I don't think you liked the movie all that much either. But 
do you think it would have maybe given a little bit of a different experience had it actually been for you at any rate had it been hugo weaving playing agent smith in this um just a little bit i mean something that and i don't think this is a spoiler that that we get from the film is that everyone is kind of a different version of of who they were you know in a way and i would have liked to see hugo weaving as like I don't know, an alpaca farmer that brews his own kombucha and lives in a yurt, right. you know, <laughs> but still, you know, has that back and forth with Thomas Anderson. Um, I would have liked to see him in kind of a different way outside the suit or whatever, but it would not have changed everything for me. I would have, like you, I enjoyed seeing everybody, you know, the gang back together, but it wouldn't have changed how I felt. My sock drawer would have still gotten reorganized. So, I mean, and yeah, had a so glorious nap in between, so... <laughs> So maybe a nice, a nice moment. A nice moment. Smile whenever we see Hugo on screen, but ultimately it doesn't really overall change. Not the... at all. Not so at all. I guess the question is for you guys. What do you think about this? I know today's a big day. Today's a big day. You want to know why? Today just might be the day that Ray Ora is going to watch Matrix 4. <laughs> he was telling us before the show today. It he is might actually... the day. Oh, today's the day. <laughs> today's the Let's day that he's going to watch Matrix I'm ready. I want to know if you fall asleep or not. Well, I, actually, what was your conundrum? You, you, you're you trying to decide which movie you're watching today. What that or one? don't look up. Right, right, right. That, Let's do a fine. poll right now. <laughs> All right, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Poll right now. <laughs> okay. Which movie should uh, <laughs> really Ray watch today? And it's the options are... Oh, that was... Uh, I actually didn't type that as a comment. Hold on a second. Let me try this again. <laughs> so here you go. Which movie... We're going to... For those of you watching live, which movie should Ray watch today uh don't look up or uh matrix four this is vitally important guys yeah, how important you can change the course of somebody's Please life choose wisely choose wisely the poll is i up would like right to now. nap to a good movie the better the movie the better the nap so yes we got that up there right now oh and it's close it's close. We've already got like 400 votes. And right now, Don't Look Up is ahead 52% oh. to 42%. We'll keep our eye on this. <laughs> this is hard-hitting news, guys. This is Ray, important. Nap Watch 2021. Nap Watch. <laughs> nap watch. No, I'm actually really going to watch it. As soon as I leave here, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to watch one of those movies. So, and it's up to you guys. You guys will decide his fate. We'll check in on that in a bit. Yeah. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Do you think... You know, if Hugo Weaving had appeared, would that have changed your experience with Matrix 4? Maybe yes, maybe no. Whatever you guys think about that, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.